hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Tola and I'm a youtuber based in Vancouver Canada I know it's been a while <laughs> a while and I didn't even intend to take a break <laughs> Turning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome to the family. <laughs> I don't know what that dance was, but welcome. Honestly, I did not intend to take the break that I did, but then yeah, life happened, I guess. So this video is just going to be me talking about what happened and why I took the break. And I'm really hoping that this video even goes up because I've done this like two times already. So yeah. Today is actually the 31st of December. I was supposed to upload this video. I was supposed to film and upload this video by the 30th or later as the 31st. And see me, I'm just filming the video. May God release me from the spirit of procrastination next year. Um, so this video is just going to be all over the place because I did not have anything planned, but I just felt like I wanted to do a video before I just move on to like the new contents I plan on giving you guys next year. Today is the 31st of December, like I said, and it's actually 3.10. So it's like, it's 3.10, it's 3, it's 10 minutes past 3 here, but in Nigeria it's 10 minutes past 12. So they literally just entered the new year. So happy new year, guys. Happy new year. I really hope and I pray that this new year favors us. I, I pray that it's going to be our best year yet. God is going to do so many things in our lives. And I, and I know that this year, I just have a good feeling about this year. That this year is just going to be... It's going to be our year because I know that 2023 was a lot for a lot of us, including me. But I know that 2024 is going to be so much better. So basically, I really do not want this video to be short. I do not want this video to be long because I just want it to be like a life update where I've been and my plans for 2024. And I'm actually really excited if you guys cannot tell already. Yeah, I'm with my phone. I sent myself a congratulatory email on the 1st of January 2023 and like this is the first time I ever like I've ever done this I literally came across this on the 1st of January 2023 on someone else's post and she talked about how she sent a congratulatory um, email to herself in 2022 and then looking up looking back at it she realized that God did a lot of things so it was supposed to be a congratulatory um email to myself of all the blessings and the testimonies that God was going to sow in my life and I actually opened this two days ago and honestly like I can only just thank God because of course all of the all the things I wrote didn't happen but almost everything God actually ticked all of the boxes and I'm forever grateful and I know that 2024 is going to be better and in the email I'm just not going to go into details but I made reference to my academic year being a success. I talked about um, being um, warmly welcomed into Canada. Cause if you um, don't know, um, I I left Nigeria on the on the eleventh of January, so I arrived in Canada on the twelfth. So imagine coming into a country you don't know anybody, you don't know like like what's gonna happen. Like I was, I had so many thoughts in terms of accommodation in terms of like getting a job settling down making new friends like so many things and i really just wanted to really settle in well so and uh, of course i was very nervous so i wrote that in the letter that i really hope that god allows my destiny help us locate me and i wish that my academic year was a success i actually said i was going to launch so the congratulations the congratulatory email i said was like me already thanking god in advance for the things that he was going to do in 2023 so i did so i thanked god that the academic year was that my academic year was a success i thank god that i was able to warmly settle in canada i thank god that i launched my youtube channel and it was a success and then i thank god about like making new and meaningful friendships and yeah, so those are just the things I did, except one thing, which now when I think about it, of course, there's nothing God cannot do, but the only thing I would say that didn't happen was I wanted to have 50,000 subscribers on YouTube by now, but then 
in my congratulatory email as well i said i was going to launch my youtube channel at the beginning of the year and then with consistency and posting it regularly that would happen but i didn't launch my youtube channel until june or july and with school it wasn't easy posting so and honestly when i even look at the growth the mini growth i had from july till now not even posting as consistently as i wanted to not even starting the channel on time and yet i'm literally on 864 subscribers with people watching my videos commenting reaching out to me on instagram i can actually only thank god and i know that if i had not procrastinated and started if i'd maybe started when i said i was going to start maybe i would have actually gotten where i wanted but yeah honestly the difference one year can make like starting school in canada like i was just a bit nervous because then the last time i was in school was 2018 yes 2018 um law school so you know taking that break and not being in school working and everything i just thought that like ugh, will, like how easy would it be for me to like really integrate back into the academic life you know reading having essays like having exams and all of that and honestly god exceeded my expectations like my grades all is like every single thing from essays to exams to presentations like everything has been great even finding a job like i honestly got a job in canada within one month without help like it can only be good because when i think about how some people like go here and they find it a bit difficult to like settle in get a job even accommodation i come accommodation a day after i got into canada like when i think about the crazy things that actually happened to me this year honestly like i, I only just say that it can only be good and i know that like yeah yeah it can only be good to be honest like i just really thank god and i know that like i've gotten like so many requests on finding an accommodation here in canada and um finding a job here and trust me those videos are coming soon after this one i just really wanted to give like a live update for just before diving into like the videos uh, so if you guys were already subscribed to me from july you guys will know that at least i tried i was posting regularly to an extent i think once a week or at least once in two weeks and then i literally just stopped in september and that was just because of school honestly like juggling two jobs and school it's not easy like i really i just thank god because it didn't affect my studies maybe it affected my sleep because i was a bit delusional at some points but yeah i still thank god <laughs> but because of that like juggling school and work it was not easy for me to like i didn't just have time to like sit in front of a camera you know do my makeup and start filming and acting like i was like like everything was okay because i was actually struggling i can't even lie like it was a lot for me at some point and me that i'm not even an emotional person like the amount of times i've like broken down this year and like cried because i just felt like it was too much but yeah so like posting filming posting like uploading was like that was like the last thing on my mind i just didn't have time and then eventually like maybe when i have a little bit of time like i would now feel a bit discouraged that why would i think somebody wants to watch my channel like what, what value am i giving like i don't know i think i said it's like think like i was dipping it too much like i was now trying to talk myself out of like my youtube channel at some point i was like maybe i should just even like delete it i just act like nothing happened and i shouldn't like i shouldn't have even started the channel in the first place like so many like negative um mind the negative comments that i would just have in my head but then i'll just like i'll just talk myself out of it and be like okay rather than just deleting it let me just leave the page hopefully i'll just like come back to it and then i think it was just me being in my head and like honestly like just comparing myself and saying that oh my gosh this person's page is so much better like i understand why they're following this person like why would they follow me why should they follow me but then i had to just tell myself to just calm down like honestly it's not that deep because one of the reasons why i even started the channel in the first place was for it to be like an outlet for me this is like my diary but then you all are seeing it <laughs> and i like like i like recording i like filming myself i like talking so it's like like i i'm doing it for fun it's not it's not a job i'm not doing it because like oh i want to make money like if i make money that's fine but like i started it because like i really just want to share like coming especially and i felt like now was the right time 
because coming into Canada, like there were so many things that I learned on my own that I would just say to myself, like if someone literally told me this, like thrifting, for instance, like places to thrift, what to look for, how to thrift. Like I didn't start thrifting until like mid, like the middle of the year, and I was like, if someone actually told me about this beginning of the year, maybe I would have, I would have spent like as much money i spent on like some particular things or i want to have done this or like even shopping like just basic things and i'm like these are the things i want to share just because i feel like someone out there might actually want this information someone out there might be interested in it or someone might even just like listening to my voice like it's really not that deep but i think yeah taking a break sort of like helped me just like take a step back and just it just reminded me of why i started the channel in the first place which was just a phone outlet for me and then if it becomes something serious over time then i would embrace it i would know that yes that's the time it's the time for that growth so i'm happy to be back anyways it's not like i'm done with school i'm on holiday right now of course but i've honestly just told myself like and i'm gonna pray about it it's like my goal this year is to be consistent on youtube even if this is the only platform i'm consistent in like youtube is my is gonna be my priority this year and the goal is to start by posting once a week and hopefully during summer when i don't have school i might just upgrade or progress to like twice a week i'm just and i don't want to restrict myself because i know you watch so many videos everyone is like find your niche and i don't think anything is wrong with that i don't even think i think you should even eventually find your niche but i think for me that i'm just starting on youtube i would like to explore different things i want to do i want to post fashion content makeup content thrifting food like my morning routine skincare different things like random things i just want to be like this is my diary honestly that's just how i'm saying it i want to be able to post anything i don't want to restrict myself and eventually i might just find my niche from like the various posts the various contents that i upload that's the goal and the prayer and yeah so that's my goal for youtube to be consistent and i really hope that the content i even upload resonates with somebody out there it's actually like i'm putting value i'm also giving value as much as i'm having fun and i'm doing what i love i also want to also like inspire somebody or encourage somebody out there and yeah i'll probably still do like a live update because in less than two weeks it's gonna be one year that i've been in canada and i think i want to do like a live update what i've learned so far like settling in canada and all of that good stuff i would say my other new year my other new year resolutions because i don't want to use that word because i try not to say new year's resolutions because i'm one of those people that i'll have a list of things that i want to do in the coming year and by like the end of the first month by the end of january I've, i'm probably not even doing any of the things i said i was going to do so i try to just see it as like these are just the things that I would really like to do in the new year. But then instead of waiting for the new year, I act like I've literally started now. So I started like the week when I actually made the list of things that I said I would want to like do in the new year. So the first one is bettering my relationship with God. So having a better relationship with God. This year, you guys, I think I went to church maybe twice. I would listen to like online sermons here and there, but honestly, because I work on Sundays as well, like it's so difficult sometimes. I even forget that it's a Sunday. Maybe until I see like someone's post, or maybe when my mom would send like a message on WhatsApp, I'd be like, "Oh wow, it's actually Sunday," and I didn't remember. So, having a better relationship with God, Bible study, reading my Bible, listening to sermons, like praying, you know, things that would actually make me draw closer to God, learn about God. That's a priority, and I've started that already. Another goal of mine is working on myself this year self-confidence you know being confident not letting my not letting the negative thoughts in my head win sometimes just because there are just so many things that i always want to do then i talk myself out of it like there are so many contents that i actually created you guys and i'll just look at it and delete it i'm like no it's not good enough i don't like it my voice sounds funny or i look funny here this is funny like i'm just so critical about everything that i end up not now doing i end up not doing what i want to do and i'm now sad about it because it's like i just always need to pick and like oh this is wrong this is not this other person did there it's like this is how it's supposed to be and it's like <sighs> i need to just breathe and calm down i just tell myself it's literally not that deep and honestly there will always be 
I guess maybe issues with like maybe the content not issues there will always be something I don't like with private content but then I just tell myself the only way to even improve is practice it's only when I like I film I, I edit I upload and I'm able to look and say okay I'll probably do this next time like I'll do something I'll, I'll do this better but then if I don't do it how will I actually know how will I improve you know these are just things that yeah just working on myself shy you know being confident in myself being very be very bold, audacious, you know, that's, that's what I'm just going to say. <laughs> also saving, saving better. Like there are so many plans I have this year. You all do, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I'll just say that maybe the contents that you guys want me to do, just put in the comments for me. Yeah, just, just let me know. But the type of, the contents I want to actually post this year, I'm just praying that God just, God should just bless my finances. <laughs> She bet you should bless my bank account so that I'm able to do all of these things. But yeah, like I have so many videos planned. I have so many videos like contents that you guys actually love that you'd resonate with and you'd it would also inspire you, you know. Cause you know, we're all like trying to find our feet in this crazy world and we're all like in our twenties. Well most of us I'm hoping I'm guessing that a lot of us are just in our twenties or maybe early thirties or like teenagers and we're trying to just like figure things out. So you guys will literally watch me do that because I'm also trying to figure out a lot of things, you know. So yeah, I think those are just the four goals I wrote down. Better relationship with God, being consistent on YouTube, working on myself and saving better. I think that's literally all I have. I think I've talked about where I've been because of school, literally like school and work yeah i also have like some mini goals but i also don't talk about it i'll probably just do videos on them as god you know blesses me and stuff so yeah and then you guys if you just see the way i'm just smiling i'm actually honestly happy like i'm ready to just leave 2023 and start 2024 because i like the word that's just been coming to my mind is ease like i'm just like i don't know i, I just feel like god is just let me know like this new year is going to be my year of ease it's going to be my year of favor it's going to be my year of grace and i really hope for you all listening to me as well it's going to be your year of ease of favor of grace of blessings of multiple testimonies in jesus name so yeah we've come to the end of this video i really hope when i'm editing it is actually not long because i literally just wanted to talk about where i've been and then my goals for 2024 and you guys should expect consistency from me you people should hold me accountable follow me on instagram if you're not following me i think i'm more i'm more active there like even when i don't post i'm still active on my story so follow me on instagram i'll put it on the screen below if you're also not subscribed please subscribe please like share comment down below let me know the type of videos you guys want from me this year <laughs> It's 2023. Let me know the type of content you guys want from me in 2024. Let me know, like, put in the comments below. Let me know your goals that you have for 2024 as well. Is it similar to mine? Do we have the same goals? And yeah, I can't wait to see what 2024 has in store for all of us. And I hope you'll come with me on this journey, this journey in 2024. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye, Happy New Year.